At first glance, the article makes for grim reading. When it comes to vehicles per 1,000 people, Gibraltar ranks first with 1,444. That's nearly one and a half vehicles per person, above its closest rivals including San Marino, Liechtenstein, Andorra and Monaco. We've come to rely on Wikipedia as one of the most comprehensive sources of information on the web. And this article does appear to be quite exhaustively researched and cites sources. But the thing with Wikipedia is that it's updated by users, and it's also challenged by users sometimes. The article includes lorries, buses and other commercial vehicles, but it does not include two-wheeled vehicles. The information it uses to place Gibraltar at the top of the list is taken from December's session in Parliament. Here, in answer to questions from Marlen Hassan Naur, Transport Minister Paul Valvan revealed that in 2022 there were 48,461 registered vehicles. However, in answers to supplementary questions, he revealed this figure includes motorbikes. In answers to questions from GBC, the government has now revealed there are just over 9,600 motorbikes in Gibraltar. If we discount motorbikes from the stats, it would leave Gibraltar third in the table. But among the answers from the Ministry of Transport, there is a rather astonishing revelation. Of the 48,000 registered vehicles, only around 30,000 of them have a valid roadworthiness statistic. While this would bring Gibraltar further down the league table of vehicle ownership per capita, all the way down to 29th, it begs the question, why are there so many unroadworthy vehicles? Unfortunately, there's no clear answer. The best guess is that the vast majority of people who dispose of a vehicle simply don't bother to deregister it. The problem with statistics is that there are far too many variables that raise more questions than answers, so we're back to anecdotal evidence. Are there too many cars in Gibraltar? If you ask anyone, the answer will most certainly be yes. But the real question is, are we travelling in the right direction? According to the answers given in Parliament in 2022, there were 1,872 new vehicles registered. That's the smallest number of new vehicles in one year for over three decades. There was a small spike in 2020, the year import duty was scrapped, but generally the trend is going downwards. We have to bear in mind though that these are the numbers of new vehicles. The total number of vehicles is only going up. So while the measures to reduce vehicle ownership appears to be having some effect, we're still a long way from reducing the number of wheels on our roads.